Hi, I'm Dr. AJ Tarpoff, the Beef Extension Veterinarian for Kansas State University. And today I'd like to talk to you about some of the warnings of blue-green algae. Here we are in the summer months. Uh, we don't have a lack of sunshine and warm days, and that's prime environments for harmful algae blooms start to happen. Blue-green algae is not actually an algae at all. It's a cyanobacteria. It's a photosynthetic bacteria that really floats just underneath the surface of pond water. What can happen is these blooms can happen overnight, and some of these species of cyanobacteria can actually release toxins, leading to severe illness and even death in our livestock animals. So it's prudent for livestock producers to monitor your watering source carefully, ponds in particular, to make sure that if you see any strange, uh, almost bright green slime that's just floating on the surface of the water, that could be a potential issue with cyanobacteria and blue-green algae. If you see some of these symptoms or have issues in your animals, uh, like nervousness, uh, signs of neurologic disease, or acute death in your cattle, make sure you contact your veterinarian immediately and uh, prepare to start getting some water testing done to be able to take away that risk from the rest of your animals. If you have blue-green algae in your watering source ponds for livestock, it's critical to make a management decisions immediately uh, because the rest of the animals are at risk of consuming that. It's, it's unknown why these occur or when they occur, so it's proven that if we know cyanobacteria and blue-green algae are present in the pond, we need, to relieve, uh, we need to get cattle away from that pond and watering source as soon as possible. That might include fencing. That also includes being prepared to have a secondary water source, whether it's a well, whether it's uh, hauling water, uh, or having an improved water source such as a submerged pump to be able to pump into a water tank. These all greatly reduce the risk of exposure of our livestock during the summer months.